taking over these shoes. So we are going to teach you guys how to make your standard Ultra Boost look like this. I have a big thing for black, all black shoes, so I decided to do this. If you guys can't already see that, we've uncaged it, painted the actual material black, painted the sole black, and made it a whole new shoe. What equipment you guys need to make this shoe become this are, we use this paint. That paint there was the paint that I used to spray the actual material. And Philly's gonna show you the paint that we used to paint the bottom of the shoe. This one. And that's an Angus paint. Just black acrylic leather paint. And for what you guys need to actually use to cut the cage off the shoe. A Stanley knife. A handy pair of Stanley knife. An unpicker. An unpicker. The picker will show you guys where you need to use this. Some really good scissors. A pair of scissors. And even if you're Asian, you'll have a pair of these. They won't Another pair of scissors. Oh, and one more. Just we in just... case. Also, you need some Jason Mark. Prep the shoe to clean the shoe prior. You need a paintbrush. The paintbrush is in the bottle, sorry. That's how we store our paintbrush. And we need... Some tape. First thing I need to do is actually wash these. Alright, so I'm going to unlace them. And just quickly Jason mark anything, take any grease off it so paint actually sticks onto whatever material you're wanting to work on. This is the best stuff that you can actually get to wash your shoes. Look how good they came up. Set up the spot for us to spray the shoes. So we just spray on the ground and stuff. Before spraying the shoe, you don't want to spray inside the actual material. So what you should do is shove the actual shoe with paper as so. So you shove it in there so it sort of keeps the shape as well and also if you do spray, it just lands on there. We're going to be cutting the cage as well, so we'll be cutting this cage off right, right here and we'll show you guys how we're going to do that. We actually don't know how we're going to do that, I'm just going to yolo it to be honest and just chop it off. Let's see how Philly's Let's going to... Let's do it! We're going to cut the cage off right now. I haven't told Philly a way of doing it as well. You guys can see there's a thread line right here. You need to unpick that thread line first. I'm just going to get a normal pair of scissors and cut straight from here all the way across and then I'm going to try to keep this heel tab right here and we'll see how we go. Philly just put back the thread picker. So we're going to unpick this bit right here. They have this grass all in here. Look at all this grass that just came out of nowhere. As you guys can see, so I've taken one side off already and it, it looks like this when it's unpicked. There's no actually YouTube tutorials on it. This is going to be the first, I reckon. If you guys don't have a pair of these Ultra Boosters, they're actually not all black. This spirit here is actually like a lighter colour. It's like a navy kind of colour. Oh, we should cut this. Okay. How do you reckon we should cut it? So I want to keep this bit there, this bit here. So I want to keep this. Good luck is all I can say. You are now watching How You Feel. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to use a Stanley knife. We're, honestly, we're yelling this, so if I fuck my shoe Yeah, up. that looks so good. I just dropped this bit off. So I've chopped one side off. I can't even chop this off because it's just awkward. We really need to left hand scissors. Shit. This is sort of what it's supposed to look like. So I've finally done it. The best way I found out to do it is pulling back the cage. So pretend if this, this was the cage. Pull back the cage, cut the cage off with a normal pair of scissors. And what you can do is actually hold it down like this you guys can see what I'm doing, holding it down like that and then getting the Stanley knife, be careful to run it just underneath the boost and it cuts it perfectly. It's starting to look like a roshi to be honest. What helps also guys is to be sure 
that your blade in your Stanley knife is new. Because as soon as I changed my blade in my Stanley knife, it took me like one second to cut this off. The next step for painting is, I'm gonna tape up this area here, and also tape up this area here. The good thing about this is that when you're actually taping it, you don't actually have to tape it to the correct shape because you can actually just push it back and push the tape so it sticks inside it like so and it makes it perfect. Also guys, we now have Instagram. So if you guys are on Instagram, I'm sure pretty much everybody is, follow us at how you feel. All finished and sprayed. Second coat on it already. As you guys can see, all the navy bits are gone now. I even sprayed the tag. It's nice and glossy. So I've taken the tape off and it gives it this look. What look? <laughs> so this is Matt. Oh, but you didn't get this bit. What bit? That bit. Did you get that? No, I didn't need to spray this. It was already black. And all I gotta do now is paint the bottom. This is the paint that I've been using to actually paint those, the boost. So let's see how we go. So I thought I was done and I was like, and I missed this whole bit. I'm so excited. This is the current look of the shoe. How cool does it look? If you guys look closely, the different textures that I was actually looking for. The reason why I didn't want to use this spray is because it leaves it a matte finish. So that's why I wanted to use the gloss paint so it makes it gloss at the bottom. So it'll be gloss black, the plastic black, and then this whatever color this black would be. So we're going to leave it to dry for about half an hour and we'll come back to it. We'll see how it dries up. I think it looks amazing. Philly did a really good job on her shoe. This is actually her side of the shoe. This is the final product and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys soon. Bye. Bad idea. <laughs> You are now watching How You Feel. Don't forget to subscribe.